Way out yonder lies the little kingdom of Bongo Congo, a peaceful land where contented natives play contented songs on their contented drums. Bongo drums. The principal product of the kingdom. In fact, the only product of the kingdom. Come with us now to Bongo Land. From the palace comes the thundering roar of the Lion King Leonardo. Confounded, where's my throne? It's time for my cartoon show. King Leonardo was a busy man, the kingdom constantly demanding work of all kinds from its leader. May I interrupt you, sire? Mr. Charlie Chen to see you from our secretive service department. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, yes, send him in. Now, what was it you wanted, Charlie Chen? Oh, sir, as number one man in Bongo secretive service, Charlie Chen have important secretive service news. Shoot. Did Charlie Chin put that gun away? Now, what is this important need? Well, for a long time now, sire, I've been convinced that someone must be helping Biggie Rat and Itchy Brother. They are not smart enough to invent the weapons they've used recently. Of course not. My brother, Itchy Brother, is completely stupid. Also, confusion say, ignorance like sap spread to all parts of family tree. What? <laughs> Mr. Chin said Itchy is uh, rotting the family tree, Your Majesty. That's why Mr. Chin has been put on the case. Also, Charlie Chin, a number one son, Chin up, fine crew, indicate first class genius behind Biggie Rat and Itchy Brother. A genius? Why, that's the most unheard of thing I ever heard of. Why, I'll, 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 I'll. Also, confusion say open mouth will not help hearing. Name of first-class genius is Professor Mesa. Same is called Mess for short. But not for long. We'll put the scientist behind bars. That should stop the Genichi for good. He must be found at once. We must scour the countryside. Meet him face to face. Fight him man to man. You, Charlie Chin and Oli Coloni, I commission you to find this culprit. Also... Like times of old, hero fiddle while Chin burns. <clears throat> I, I have a list of places to search. Uh, we must hurry. Now listen, Mass. This is Biggie talking, see? And I know what I'm talking about, see? Now, let's see now. What was it? Oh, yeah. You're in real trouble, Mess. Even though you keep trying to hide behind those phony accents of yours, looks like the law's catching up to you. Uh, he's no problem for me. How you figure that? If they ask me why I make the bunsen bore and the ice ray gun, I tell them I make for you. Oh, I know you use them on the key. Yeah, I believe that story. Yeah, I would dig. I heard. Shut up, blockhead. You yeah, okay, big? I dig. And you get this, mess. Trying to leave us holding the bag, and we'll <laughs> pop you like a balloon. We oui, will oui, miss you, big. What is it do you desire? A foolproof gimmick, see, and no more misses. We're taking the king for good this time. But of course, Monsieur Big, specialty of the house. A little dish of pancake crepe Suzette a la jet. We'll add the top, and when she burn low, like the jet rocket. What are you, some kind of nut or something? No, 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 no. This Suzette is like the woman. Who knows when she explode? Yeah, help! I'm like a uh, seal to the ceiling! Hold it, that's the answer. Seal, get it, mess? I do not understand, Monsieur Big. Help! I'm gloomy, Big! Glue! That's the trick. You get me some glue that won't come unglued, I'll handle the rest. I have just the thing. Un moment. Voila! Chef Pierre Mercier's French pastry paste. She will stick forever. That does it, mess. Now we've got the king for sure. Ow! What does this mean? Will the king and Odie be stuck with Biggie's plot? Will Itchy Brother get off the ceiling and get on the throne? We'll find out in our next exciting episode, Am I Glue? 
Way out yonder lies the little kingdom of Bongo Congo, a peaceful land where contented natives play contented songs on their contented drums. Bongo drums. The principal product of the kingdom. In fact, the only product of the kingdom. Come with us now to Bongo Land. From the palace comes the thundering roar of the Good Lion King Leonardo. Confounded, where's my throne? It's time for my cartoon show. <laughs> One of the strangest adventures that King and Odie ever had began in the hideout of those two despicable characters, Pinky Rat and Itchy Brother. This particular day, Itchy was writing one of his poems while Biggie was pacing up and down trying to figure out a way to take over the kingdom of Bongo Congo from King Leonardo. When... Come in, come in. Like, wow, well, uh, you see what I see, Big? Yeah. Okay, you guys, what's the pitch? Pitch? There's no pitch. We want to make peace. We come as friends. Let bygones be bygones. There's uh, something phony about this. I smell a rat. Watch your language, Itch, or you'll end up scratched. All right, Kings, eh? What gives? Well, you've always wanted the crown, so we're here to give it to you. In fact, he will give you his whole head, won't you, sire? Of course. Here you are. Yay! Biggie and Itchy were about to dive out the window when they heard a familiar laugh. <laughs> it's Professor Messer. A man of a thousand disguises. Who are you disguised as today, Mass? Today I am Messer the Mad Moscovite, world's greatest inventor. I have invented everything. Baseball, Fitzball, radio, razor. No matter what has been invented, I have invented it first. But this is my greatest invention, Messrs. Rotten Robots. Robots? Like uh, mechanical men. Exactly. I make them to look like the King and Odie. Walk like and talk like them too. But the big thing is that they do just what I want them to do. My wish is their command. Mass, you're a genius. Yeah, but uh, gee, Big, uh, like uh, what good are they? I mean, we already got a king uh, who needs another. What you need is a brain, blockhead. These two contraptions are going to take over the kingdom for us. Tell him to put his head on, miss, and let's get started for the palace. Wait a minute. He's very expensive in wanting rotten robots. Takes lots of rubles, countless kopecks. Before you get the kingdom, I get the cash. Cash nothing. I'm dealing you in on the whole deal, see? You get a share of the kingdom. Now let's go. And so the three conspirators, together with the two robots, proceeded to the palace. They had no trouble getting in because the guards thought it was the real King Leonardo. One side, peasant, me and my pal, the king, wish to enter our palace. Like, uh, get on a beam. It's a new regime. I never thought I'd see the day when his majesty was friends with those two. And so the little surprise party proceeded to the throne room. Suddenly the door of the throne room burst open and... King say, oh boy, I'd like you to meet up with your successor, see? The new King Leonardo. What? Who is this imposter? Who is this imposter? This is the most unheard of thing I ever heard of. It's the most unheard of thing I ever heard of. Confound it. Guards! 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 See that, that imposter. imposter. Take, Take him, him to the dungeon. dungeon. Uh, well, uh, will the real King Leonardo please stand up? I mean, step up. I am the real, real one. one. I am True Blue Odie Colony, faithful servant of the king. This is the real Leonardo. No, this is the real Leonardo. Ah, oh, come on, fellas. You're like, relax, man. Uh, I got the quotient to your quandary. I am the brother of the king, the swinging member of a real square clan. Now, uh, who should know better who the real king is? And I'm telling you, cats, that uh, this is the real King Leonardo, my dear sweet brother. Uh, take these two flakes away. All right, you two, let's go. You can't do this to me. It looks as though Biggie and Itchy, with the help of Professor Messer, have succeeded in their plot to take over the kingdom. How can the King and Odie get out of the dungeon and expose the two robots? Don't miss our next exciting episode, Switcheroo Ruler.
Way out yonder lies the little kingdom of Bongo Congo, a peaceful land where contented natives play contented songs on their contented drums. Bongo drums. The principal product of the kingdom. In fact, the only product of the kingdom. Come with us now to Bongo Land. From the palace comes the thundering roar of the Lion King Leonardo. Confounded, where's my throne? It's time for my cartoon show. <laughs> In Bongo Congo, behind these massive doors, True Blue Odie Colonia was preparing the monthly quota of royal perfume. Now it was time to add the top secret chemical mixture passed on by Odie's father, Papa Colonia. Papa Colonia had called it Smile, the special ingredient so powerful that a single drop added to the perfume mixture brought a smile to everyone who breathed the royal regal aroma. But today, as Odie poured in the single drop, he was startled by a knock at the door and unknowingly emptied into the perfume mixture the entire contents of the smile bottle. What would the result of this error be? Confound it, Odie. I've been looking all over for you. Beg pardon, sire, but this is the day for mixing the royal perfume. Oh, of course it slipped my mind. How's the mixture coming along? Well, seems to be... <laughs> seems to be doing... <laughs> seems to be doing just... <laughs> what is it, Sire? What is so funny? <laughs> the answer was clear. The entire bottle of Papa Colonia's top, top secret smile had turned the royal perfume into a powerful laughing gas. Oh, I can't. I can't. Oh, oh, oh. Stop laughing. Oh, no, sir. Oh, this is terrible. Quickly, True Blue Odie Colony closed down the lid of the mixing vat so that he would not himself be exposed to the aroma and start laughing uncontrollably. Let me accompany you to the throne room, sire. I know you will think of the right thing to do. <laughs> the situation was desperate. The king was becoming a laughing stock. The laughter had to be stopped. We'll send for the finest scientists in the world. There must be an antidote, a formula to stop my king's laughter. From all over the world, the great scientists came. They checked the king's reflexes. They took his temperature. They checked his pulse. Then they tried to stop the laughter. They tried the new wonder drugs. They tried the old wonder drugs. They even tried sulfur and molasses, but nothing helped. Nothing helped at all. As the days passed, the king grew weary from his laughter. Soon he was walking into walls. The king was falling downstairs. The king was falling into the royal fish pond. And the royal work had come to a standstill. Bills were piling up. Royal proclamations went unsigned. Employees of the Bongo Drum Factory, with no one to sign their checks, went unpaid. Yet while the king's laughter brought misery to many, it brought joy to at least two. Biggie Rat and Itchy Brother. For in their hideout, the crafty criminals were plotting another plot. I tell you, Itch, this is the greatest thing ever, see? We get hold of this laughing perfume, and we've got it made. Uh, how can it smell like you make us well? Simple, simple. We get the perfume, and give everybody except us a big sniff. The whole kingdom laughs itself silly, while we take everything. Money, jewels, the works. I get it, Big. While they laugh, we like uh, loot. Uh, only, uh, how do we pick up the perfume? Oh, who's gonna stop us? Kingsley's laughing his head off, right? And don't worry about that colony baloney. He and the palace guards are too busy worrying about the king, say? Yeah, okay, Big, I dig. And back in the palace, things were no better. <laughs> oh, my sad, laughing king. If only there was something I could do. Oh, he's simply weak from laughter. Yes, since the king could not eat or sleep, Odie was worried for the king's very life. Is there any cure for King Leonardo's laughter? We'll find out in our next exciting episode, He Who Laughs Last. Way out.
out yonder lies the little kingdom of Bongo Congo, a peaceful land where contented natives play contented songs on their contented drums. Bongo drums. The principal product of the kingdom. In fact, the only product of the kingdom. Come with us now to Bongo Land. From the palace comes the thundering roar of the lion King Leonardo. Confounded, where's my throne? It's time for my cartoon show. <laughs> In our last episode, a ticklish tragedy had struck King Leonardo. While Odi Coloni prepared the royal perfume, he had accidentally poured in the entire bottle of Papa Coloni's powerful top, top secret ingredient called Smile. When the king smelled the vat of perfume, he began to laugh uncontrollably. <laughs> Meanwhile, in another part of town... Now we get hold of this laughing perfume, see, and we got it made. Yeah, how can the smell like you uh, make us well? Simple, simple. We get the perfume and give everybody except us a big sniff. The whole kingdom laughs itself silly while we take everything. Money, jewels, the works. In the palace at that very moment, True Blue Odie Coloni was desperately trying to think of a way to cure his king's perpetual laughter. <laughs> oh, my poor king. How weak he grows. I must go to the laboratory and try again to find an antidote to cure his majesty's laughter. In the laboratory, True Blue Odie made certain, of course, that he did not go near the large vat containing the laughing perfume. Perhaps one part of this. And one part of this. Unfortunately, as Odie industriously applied himself to the job, he lost his footing and... Help! Help! And at this precise moment... Help! Help! This is Odie Coloni! Help! <laughs> what could be more perfect? Coloni trapped in the vat. Hop up there, Rich, and slam the lead. Yeah, okay, dig, I dig. Careful now. Look out. Look out! Help! Quickly, Biggie Rat found a rope and tossed one end to Itchy Brother. In a moment, Itchy was out and Biggie had slammed the lid on poor Odie. Help! Help! Now, we get the laughing perfume and we got it made. Oh, this must be it. Grab hold and don't spill a drop, say. Back at their hideout, Biggie and Itchy bottled the laughing perfume, being careful they did not smell it themselves. Then, they loaded the perfume onto a cart and began to pass it out as free samples. Yeah, free uh, perfume samples. Uh, let you like uh, laugh it up a little, sniff and smile. Only a few hours later, the entire kingdom was in gales of laughter. <laughs> and while the people laughed, Biggie and Itchy looted. From homes, banks, stores, even from the palace. This was no laughing matter. But meanwhile, Odie Coloni had finally managed to free himself. Diving to the bottom of the huge vat, Odie had found the plug, and he and the contents of the vat had literally gone down the drain. So trying had this experience been that it actually brought Odie close to tears. And tears reminded him of onions. And in onions he saw the perfect antidote for his king's laughter. Since onions make one cry, they are bound to make one stop laughing. Quickly, Odie rushed back into the laboratory to prepare an onion perfume. Then he went first to King Leonardo. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I've stopped. I've stopped laughing. I'll never smile again until I... Oh, come, sire. The whole kingdom is aching with laughter. And Big Yenichi are looting everything. We must save Bongo Congo. Immediately, the king and Odie passed out samples of the onion perfume, which quickly stopped the laughter. Hey, gods, why aren't you laughing? What's the idea? Laugh! Laugh, clouds, laugh! Yeah, like, uh, you laugh while we loot! <laughs> yeah, run for it, Big, something's gone wrong! And as just punishment, Biggie and Itchy were put in the dungeon along with the last of the laughing perfume. <laughs> Once more, True Blue Odie Coloni had saved the day for Bongo Congo. But will Biggie and Itchy have the last laugh? Don't miss the next exciting episode of The King and Odie. 
Way out yonder lies the little kingdom of Bongo Congo, a peaceful land where contented natives play contented songs on their contented drums. Bongo drums. The principal product of the kingdom. In fact, the only product of the kingdom. Come with us now to Bongo Land. From the palace comes the thundering roar of the Lion King Leonardo. Confounded, where's my throne? It's time for my cartoon show. <laughs> With things running smoothly in Bongo Congo, good King Leonardo had an opportunity to turn his thoughts to international affairs and the world situation. Odie, I've been reading that other kings and heads of state are always taking goodwill tours of foreign countries. Makes for good relations and all that sort of thing. Good for business, too. I'd like you to arrange a tour for me. What country would you like to tour, Your Highness? Confound it, I don't care what country it is. Although they do say, see America first. Then America it is, sire. The tour was arranged, and all of Bongo Congo turned out to see the king and Odi off. Everyone, that is, except those two villainous villains, Itchy Brother and Biggie Rat. Itchy and Biggie, having heard about the tour of America, decided that this would be a golden opportunity to do away with the king, and had already flown to New York to make the necessary, uh, preparations. We see them now in a dingy little hotel room off Times Square. Gee, Big, uh, how much longer are we going to be, like, uh, roped into this rat hole? Watch your language, Fleabag. Okay, Big, I dig. But uh, when are we going to uh, clobber the king? I got it all planned out, see? According to the paper here, Kingsley and Colony arrive tomorrow. They're going to have a ticker tape parade up Broadway. While all the squares are throwing tape... We'll be throwing something else. Uh, like uh, concrete confetti, maybe? Uh, like uh, look out blow, uh, bombs away, all that jazz, eh? Kablum! <laughs> and no more king! The next morning, the king and Odie, unaware of the sinister plot against them, arrived in New York for a tumultuous welcome and began the traditional ticker tape parade up Broadway. Listen to that cheering, true blue Odie. They love me in New York. Yes, they loved him in New York. But high above the street, the two traitors prepare to deliver their own kind of welcome. Okay. Now, when Kingsley's car gets right below, you start dropping the furniture, see? Do I target the like uh, bombs away? Now they're showering me with gifts. Oh, warm hearted people, these Americans. No oh, bubble headed, bumbling bombardier. You missed him every time. When you bomb somebody, you hit him. Like this. Okay, yeah, I dig. Yeah, but what's our next hot plot? It says on the paper that Casey's going to take a ride through Central Park. I think he's going to have a little accident, see? Yes, one of the things most tourists do in New York is ride through Central Park in one of the famous handsome cabs. This looks like a fine cab, sire. Nonsense, nonsense. It only has a driver. Now, this cab has a driver and a footman. <laughs> when I go, I go first class. Get in, Odie. Uh, once around the park, my good man. Yeah. Get out, you. Confound it, everybody's passing us. Faster, driver, faster. Oh, you want to go fast, eh? Yeah. Like Bon Voyage, brother. Well, this is more like it. Now we're passing them. I fear we are going too fast, sire. Something is amiss. Calling all cars, calling all cars. Reckless driver in Central Park. All right, you two. I'm taking you in for reckless driving. You can't do that. I'm the king of Bongo Congo. I'm a guest of the city. <laughs> You're going to be a guest of the city, all right. Let's go. Who you got there? Reckless driver, some kind of kook. Thinks he's a king. Boy, we get some buttes. Lock him up. Uh-oh. King Tours City. And so, of course, the King and Odie were released. But what of Biggie and Itchy? According to the paper, Kingsley and Colony are going to Coney Island. And I got connections in Coney. Now, here's what we're going to do. What is in store for King Leonardo at Coney Island? Will the Ferris wheel play fair? Will the roller coaster roll right? Will the King and Odie have fun in the fun house? We'll find out in our next exciting episode, Coney Island Calamity. Way out here.
Uganda lies the little kingdom of Bongo Congo, a peaceful land where contented natives play contented songs on their contented drums. Bongo drums, the principal product of the kingdom. In fact, the only product of the kingdom. Come with us now to Bongo Land. From the palace comes the thundering roar of the Lion King Leonardo. Confounded, where's my throne? It's time for my cartoon show. In our last episode, Biggie Radamichi brother had located an important clue to the whereabouts of the long-lost gold of Bongo Congo. The clue is a poem in an old book from the Royal Library, a poem titled Ode to a Treasure. Hmm, we've got to decode the old. And that meant they must get the Royal Odie Decoder. Quickly, the two traders developed plans for capturing True Blue Odie Colony, keeper of the Odie Decoder. After one failure, and then another... The diabolical duo finally managed to capture Odie Colony. With Odie safely tied up, Biggie and Itchy quickly decoded the odes. So, the treasure's buried on Oak Island. Where well, rich, Itch? So it was that Biggie and Itchy made off with a pirate ship and headed for Oak Island. They're sailing, they're sailing over the water, baby. Okay, Itch, cut the singing and forget the lookout. We got nobody to worry about. But Biggie had failed to reckon with the skill and cunning of true blue Odie Colony. Swiftly biting through the ropes that held him, Odie soon gained his freedom. Now to take care of those two traitors. I must hurry and tell my king. What's that? The lost gold of Bongo Congo? And Biggie and Itchy are on their way to get it? Why, that's the most unheard of thing I ever heard of. But true, sire. There's not a moment to lose. Of course, I'll hurry into my yachting clothes. By the time King Leonardo and Odie Colony were aboard the royal yacht, Biggie and Itchy had already reached Oak Island and once there, quickly located the giant oak tree from which the island took its name. Okay, Shovelhead, dig. But gee, Big, I don't dig. Okay, Big, I dig. Pastor. In only a few moments, Itchy Brother had uncovered the long-lost treasure of Bongo Congo. Meanwhile, what of King Leonardo and True Blue Odie Colony? Confound it, I can't see a thing. The trees are blocking my view. Uh, beg pardon, sire. But you're looking at the mast. Oh, oh, yes, yes, of course. Well, let's see now. There they are. They're putting the treasure on board. Now they're hoisting the anchor. All right, Edge, call up the anchor. Well, this is uh, like simple assignment. Uh, just uh, twisted a wrist. Uh, yeah! Well, they've had some trouble, but the anchor's up now. They're sailing this way. Very well, my king. We shall be ready for them. The cannon is loaded, sire. Good, good. Here they come. Ahoy there, traitors! Surrender the royal treasure or we'll blast you out of the water. Well, uh, that's what you think, royal brother of mine. We have, like, not yet begun our flight. The word is fight, loudmouth, not flight. If the need of word is flight, yeah, I'm like cutting out of here, bitch. Ah, now maybe you'll get on that cannon. Hurry it up. The other way! Point the cannon the other way! In a moment, cannonballs were flying back and forth at a furious rate. As the battle continued, it appeared that Biggie and Itchy were scoring more hits than King Leonardo and Odie Colony. Confound it, Odie! You're missing them! You're not aiming high enough! Here, give me the cannon. But, Your Majesty, you're pointing it too high. Oh, no, sir. You're pointing it at, at, at our mast. Wait, wait. Duck, sire. The mast is falling. Look, Your Majesty. Look. The traitors are pinned down by our fallen mast. Oh, you are truly a genius, my king. Soon, King Leonardo and Odie Colony were sailing back to Bongo Congo with a long-lost treasure and two unhappy prisoners. I'm not through yet, wise guys. I've got a plan, son. What does Biggie Rat mean? What new danger does he have in store for King Leonardo? Will Biggie get free to put his plan into action? Don't miss the next exciting episode of The King and Odie.
Way out yonder lies the little kingdom of Bongo Congo, a peaceful land where contented natives play contented songs on their contented drums. Bongo drums. The principal product of the kingdom. In fact, the only product of the kingdom. Come with us now to Bongo Land. From the palace comes the thundering roar of the Lion King Leonardo. Confound it, where's my throne? It's time for my cartoon show. In our last episode, Biggie Rat had taken up the study of hypnosis. Sleep, sleep. You are going to sleep. Time. It worked. Now you are in my power, right? Correct. And after practicing on Itchy Brother, he decided to hypnotize King Leonardo and take over his kingdom of Bongo Congo. One night, Biggie and Itchy Brother sneaked into the palace through a secret passage and began to hypnotize the king. Sleep, sleep, sleep. You are now in my power. Your wish is my command. We got him at last. Come on. Man, that cat is really conked. Uh, what do we do now, Big? Get some shut eyes, see? We got a big day tomorrow. Yeah, but, like, uh, where are we going to sleep? There's nothing here but the royal bed. Oh, well, that's for us. Kingsley sleeps on the floor. Down, King. That's right. Okay, Itchy. From now on, we go first class. The next morning, Biggie gave instructions to the hypnotized king. All right, Kingsley. Now, you're going to make Etchy the prime minister and me the royal treasurer, see? And what's more, you're going to get rid of Odie Colony. I understand. And so the king rang for faithful Odie Colony. You rang, sire? Yeah, he rang. Casey has some news for you, pal. What are you two villainous villains doing here? Tell him, Casey. I just made my dear brother Itchy the Prime Minister, and my good friend Biggie Rat is the Royal Treasurer. So I will have no further need of your services. Guards, throw him out. But, sir! But, 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 but... Biggie and Itchy lost no time in filling the palace with all their rowdy no-account friends. Meanwhile, the clever Odie Colony returned to the palace in secret, and just outside the throne room, he heard... This is working out even better than I expected. We've got it made. Yeah, and nobody even suspects that the kooky king is hypnotized. Hypnotized? So that's it. I must bring his majesty out of his trance at once. And of course, like all good and faithful servants, Odie knew exactly what to do. He waited until the king was alone, then... Confound it, what's going on around here? Quickly, Odie explained what had happened. Why, that's the most unheard of thing I ever heard of. Let me at him. I'll wait, sire. I have a better plan. Capital, capital. According to the plan, the king pretended that he was still hypnotized, so that later in the day... King, say, this is Biggie talking, see? We got a little job for you. We want you should take us to where the royal jewels are hid, see? I will obey. And so the king pretended to lead the two greedy crooks to the royal jewels, but led them instead to the royal dungeon. Here we are. Why, you diamonds, rubies, pearls, let me at them. Hey, there's nothing in here. There is no scoundrels. Out of sound. Hey, come, come on, 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 open up. up. I'm talking, the prime see? minister. I'm the royal treasurer. Come on, get us out of here. And now, sire, I suggest we clean up the rest of the castle. An excellent idea, true blue Odie. Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Thank you, sire. But will Biggie and Itchy get free from the dungeon to plot new plots? Don't miss the next exciting episode of The King and Odie. Way out yonder.
Uganda lies the little kingdom of Bongo Congo, a peaceful land where contented natives play contented songs on their contented drums. Bongo drums. The principal product of the kingdom. In fact, the only product of the kingdom. Come with us now to Bongo Land. From the palace comes the thundering roar of the Lion King Leonardo. Confound it, where's my throne? It's time for my cartoon show. Like all good benevolent rulers, King Leonardo devoted himself tirelessly to the citizens of Bongo Congo. Their problems are my problems. These are my children. But even so strong and wise a ruler as King Leonardo could not work constantly without showing the strain. Sire, I'm worried about your health. You need to relax more. Relax? Relax? Confound it, how can I relax with all this work to do? I've got too much on my mind. Remember my people. Their problems are my problems. May I suggest that you take up a hobby, Your Majesty? You mean like birdhouse building or making ships in bottles? That sort of thing? I had something a little more vigorous in mind, sire. Like a sport, for example. Oh, a great idea! I'm the athletic type anyway. Uh, what sport do you suggest? Uh, bowling, perhaps? Splendid! Give me a chance to rub shoulders with the people. After all... Their sports are my sports. And soon at the Bongo Congo Bowling Alley. The object of the game, sire, is to roll this ball down the alley and knock down all the pins. Thus. <whistles> Looks easy. Uh, let me try. <whistles> Undaunted, the kingly athlete had another try. <whistles> I did it! I did it! A strike! Uh, begging your pardon, sire, it was in the wrong alley. Oh, Shaw, sure. this is no game for me. I want something with a little more action. So the king turned to... Tennis, anyone? <laughs> I was quite good at this as a boy, so don't spare me, Odie. Very well, sire. Uh, better let me try a few serves. Rusty as he was, the king kept at it, but he only got worse. Odie, if I'm going to relax, we'd better try something else. Never could see any sense in tennis players jumping the net. Odie Colony next suggested kite flying. But that's for babies. Our ambassadors tell me, sire, it is a very popular adult sport all over the world, especially in the Orient. Fresh air, sunshine, gaily colored kites, all very relaxing. She's going up, Odie. She's going up. Next, they tried croquet. <laughs> and diving. For a change of pace, they tried the golf course. But the great athlete was no better at that than he was at other sports. In fact, he was worse. Until... The king was hit by a golf ball. By some strange quirk of fate, the blow on his head turned the king into the hottest golfer in Bongoland. Not since the great Arnold Putter had the world seen such a golfer. He made four holes in one his first day on the course. Odie was delighted. The king was delighted. And he really relaxed. Odie, this is wonderful. We must have a tournament. We'll call it, uh, let's see, the Blue Blood Tournament. I'll invite all the Blue Bloods in Bongo Congo to play. Paige! But, sire... Don't interrupt now, Odie. Paige, take an invitation to the golf tournament to all the Blue Bloods in the land. And as a suitable prize, offer a gold cup worth 50,000 Bongo Bucks. Now, Odie... Uh, but, sire... There are no blue bloods in Bongo Congo except you and your no account brother Richie. And you know what a nose he has for valuable prizes. Confound it! Why didn't you tell me? But once the invitation had been issued, it could not be withdrawn, and the tournament was on. Could the king's skill win against the trickery of Biggie Rat and Itchy Brother? We'll find out in the next exciting episode Team Off. <laughs> Way out here on 
there lies a little kingdom of Bongo Congo, a peaceful land where contented natives play contented songs on their contented drums. Bongo drums. The principal product of the kingdom. In fact, the only product of the kingdom. Come with us now to Bongo Land. From the palace comes the thundering roar of the Lion King Leonardo. Confounded, where's my throne? It's time for my cartoon show. <laughs> In our last episode, Odie was very worried about the king's health and suggested that he take up a hobby to help him relax and forget the cares of state. King Leonardo, who fancied himself as the athletic type, was all for the idea, but it turned out the king wasn't quite the sportsman he thought he was. First, they tried bowling. Then they tried tennis. But the king said tennis gave him a pain. So they tried kite flying. She's going up! She's going up! Then the king tried golf.